Hello, this is Alfonso again, and I'm honored to be here on behalf of the Arena of Valor development team to talk to you about the latest update. We're glad to see that Battlefield 4.0 has brought everyone new and enjoyable experiences. In fact, it's fun watching the Infinite Slayer destroying an enemy space, though it's quite challenging to slay it. So what do we have for you in this new update? Let's find out. We've always been working on making the fights in Arena of Valor more balanced for all of our players. In this update, we've experimented with creating new objects for the battlefield, but at the same time, we've also updated some of the existing objects. We're happy with the changes brought to the battlefield by the Spirit Sentinel's relocation, but we also want players to be able to contest for it. We've decreased the base gold drop of the Spirit Sentinel and changed its spawn time so that it matches that of the Seagull from the Dragon Lane. Moreover, according to the data and feedback that we've collected, we found the energy beam from killing the Spirit Sentinel is hard to be noticed. That is why we've changed the drop to five Spectral Souls. Challengers who pick one up are healed again and gain some gold. Now let's see who can get them more quickly. Also. We are happy with the updated Jungler Weapon's Modest Effect, which soften the effect of junglers taking other players' lanes, especially middle laners. The current Modest Effect still has some issues in taking effect when the jungler has less gold than the support, so we've tweaked the rules. When the jungler and the support are together, the support's Modest Effect will proc first, and the jungler will receive experience as normal. When there are multiple heroes with jungler weapons, the modest effect of the hero with the least gold will proc first. We hope that this change will bring a better overall experience to the junglers. Junglers, it's time to return to your battlefield. Hero rebalancing has been a hot topic recently. I'm excited to let everyone know what our thoughts are. We want all players to keep giving us feedback any way they can. We really value your suggestions and opinions and take them into consideration while developing Arena of Valor. We really, really do. Our plan in the near future is to optimize some of the controversial heroes such as Florentino, Zill, Aoi, and so on. We think that the reason opinions were divided on these heroes is that they stem from two different perspectives. Namely, as the one controlling the hero as the one, and the one fighting against the hero. We have a name for this problem, and it's called the counter experience. This experience can be broken down into two parts, an ability mechanic that one has trouble countering, and high damage that cannot be avoided. We want to take another look at how our hero designs from these two perspectives affect the game. An ability mechanic that one has trouble countering doesn't come from a single mechanic, but rather it's the result of a combo of multiple mechanics. Florentino is a perfect example of this. Frequent quick movements coupled with multiple control effects that make it very hard for the opponent to counter. High damage that cannot be avoided refers to high damage that doesn't give the opponent a lot of time to react, or high damage that has a low cost. An example would be Zill's ultimate, coupled with ability 2 resulting in quick movement the opponent has difficulty avoiding or countering. Not to mention the passive effect that grants higher damage and the ability to escape. Ultimately, we don't only want a hero to be fun to play, but we also want players to be able to go up against one by using appropriate countermeasures. Hero balance is important, but so is smooth gameplay. In this update, we further upgraded Arena of Valor's battle experience in terms of hero control, ability clarity, and highlights. So, Battlefield Experience Update number one, Hero Control. Players who use smart casting might have had this experience. After long pressing the ability button, the ability target indicator selects an enemy. But then as the player's hero moves, the indicator gradually drifts away from the target and confuses the player. This problem is taken care of in the new update. When an ability button is pressed, the indicator is locked to the enemy, whether or not you move, so feel free to unleash your abilities. Some player feedback 
brought up the problem of the indicator that appears when dragging a skill, being interrupted and disappearing when affected by control effects or silence. To help everyone have a better chance at fighting back when controlled, we have made an improvement in this update. When dragging an ability, being controlled no longer interrupts the indicator. Instead, the indicator will temporarily turn red, and then after the control effect is ended, it will return to being blue. We hope that this change helps. Now for Battlefield Experience Update number two, Ability Clarity. With the continual increase of heroes and skins in the Antares Battlefield, players have been enjoying a wonderful visual experience. However, this has also made numerous ability special effects that were made a long time ago, almost indistinguishable in teamfights where everything happens all at once. Thus, we plan to take the time to analyze and solve this issue going forward. Now for Battlefield Experience Update number three, the Highlight Broadcast System. Loring's ultimate hitting all five enemies using Punish to steal the Dark Slayer when it's almost dead, a tank managing to survive by resurrecting and activating Rock Shield. The significance of these spectacular moments is only that they are not only pleasing to look at, but they can sometimes turn the tides of battle. Though we still think that delivering the final blow to an enemy hero deserves the best praise, we also think that other cool moves, once executed, deserve a sense of accomplishment by way of an honorable broadcast. That is why we have added the highlight system in this update to continue to improve this system. We've always been of the belief that everyone loves Arena of Valor mainly because of its innovated and user-friendly system design. In this update, we've carried these ideals into the tutorial. Now with tutorials, we have made the duration of tutorial stages more reasonable and with fewer distractions. These changes aim to make the tutorial experience overall feel smoother. We've also combined the game objective tutorial, trigger tutorial, and other tutorials to help players more quickly grasp the basic techniques needed to enjoy Arena of Valor. There are also more rewards awaiting for our new friends to unlock when starting out. Number one, the seven day sign in update. New players that have just signed up can claim cool heroes and skins in the first seven days they sign in. Number two, the road to glory update. New players that have just signed up can claim cool heroes and skins every time they level up before level 16. And level quests offer additional rewards. We sincerely hope that this will help all players have a better first impression. Arena of Hour will continue to improve and welcome new players. Bringing new blood into the game and building up and improving the game's ecosystem will forever be our goal. Now that's it for this update, friends, and I wish you all the best of luck in Arena of Valor. Oh, and one final announcement. The Snow Festival is coming, so purchase the new special item Mischief Snowball in 5v5 mode and use it to turn your pals and enemies into snowmen.